This video will explain how you can export 3D models from Blender to Bevy. I'll first show you how to add a non-animated 3D model with all of its textures and materials into Bevy. Then you will learn how to use Blender's action system to play and control specific animations within Bevy. Before we begin, I'm assuming that you have everything set up within your system to create a Bevy project. If this video helps you out in some way, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Let's hop into the video. To start off, I have a 3D model within Blender. This 3D model is an animated humanoid robot created by the Sketchfab user, Pinguino Compulgaris. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. I don't recommend using this specific model as the Blender file is really old. Due to this fact, I had to reassign all the textures and change some stuff about the animations as well. Before you export your model, you should delete everything in the scene except for the armature, which contains the 3D model. This model has a rig and animation, but for now we are not going to worry about that. We are going to export this model as a GLB file which is the binary format of the GLTF file format, which uses JSON. This allows us to embed everything such as our textures and materials into one file. GLB files are typically 33% smaller and much faster to load than GLTF files. Keep the location of this file in mind for future reference. Now it's time to create a Bevy project to demonstrate how to load the 3D model. Let's open the command prompt and create a new Rust project by running cargo new. Now enter the folder, add Bevy as a dependency, and open it with VS Code. First things first, create an assets folder and add our 3D model file to it. Good job, now we are ready to begin programming. Open the main.rs file and use the Bevy libraries at the top of the file. To set up our Bevy app, we add the default plugins to our app and a startup system where we load the 3D model. This system runs on startup and will take a commands parameter which will enable us to spawn our 3D model. It also takes an asset server resource which is required to load our file. In this system, the first thing that we should do is add a directional light so we can actually see our model. Next, let's add a camera that looks at the origin of our scene from afar so that we can be sure we are looking at our 3D model. Finally, let's spawn our 3D model using the name of the file and concatenating hashtag scene zero. Notice that we don't have to specify that this file is in our assets folder because Bevy already goes ahead and does this for us. Run our code by typing cargo run into the terminal and you should see your 3D model in all of its glory inside Bevy. Now a lot of you are going to click off the video by now but this is probably the most important part of the video. Importing a 3D model from Blender into Bevy is a piece of cake but getting it to animate can be a bit confusing. Especially considering we need to know how to set up the animations within Blender. There are these things in Blender called Actions, which you can access by opening the Animation tab and switching from Dope Sheet to Action Editor. And they can be used to determine the animations of your character, whether that be a run or idle animation. To create a new action, you can click this button, which sort of looks like a document copy button. You can delete animations by first making sure this shield is deactivated and clicking this X button and saving and reopening your Blender file. To test out if your actions really exported into the GLB or GLTF file, go to gltfviewer.donmccurdy.com and drag your file in. You can tell that your actions were successfully exported if you simply open the animation dropdown and click to see if your animations are safely playing correctly. Now we need to make a few adjustments to our code in order to get this 3D model to animate. The way animations are played is through something called an animation clip. So the first thing we need to do is add a resource that stores a vector of these animation clips so that we can choose which animation clip is going to be played. These animations are loaded by adding a hashtag animation 0, 1, 2, and it keeps ascending. If I remember correctly, the order of animations should correspond to the order of the actions in Blender. The first one on the stack would be animation 0 and it would keep going up. Bevy automatically adds an animation player component to our 3D model once it is added into the scene. So we can use this component to specify what animation is being played by a scene object. We are going to make another system called Run Animation, which runs every frame instead of just on startup, and this will be responsible for playing our animations. In this system, we can simply query for the animation player component and use our animation vector to decide which animation is going to be played. When you have multiple entities which have the same animation but need to be played differently, you will need to implement something that links the animation player to an entity. But for now, we only have one animation player, so we do not need to worry about that. In case you run into this issue, I linked a post in the description which can help you out with this issue. 
Now you can just run the program and you should be able to see your 3D model playing its second animation in the stack. If you want it to play the first animation in the stack, you can just change the one that I put there to zero. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if it helped you out. Have a wonderful day.